Ever wondered what tools hackers actually use in the shadows? Forget the Hollywood green text. Today, we're diving into 10 real OSINT tools from the dark web. These are the programs that uncover information people thought was hidden forever. This is for educational purposes only. We don't condone illegal activity. The goal understand the tech, not use it for shady stuff. I've spent weeks researching, talking to experts, and digging through forums to bring you the most accurate list possible. Some of these tools are so powerful it's honestly a little scary. Let's get into it. Number one is Dark Search. Think Google, but for the dark web, indexing .onion sites across the Tor network. Without it, finding anything on the dark web is like searching for a book in a pitch black library with no catalog. Dark Search is the essential starting point for researchers, journalists, and hackers. It finds hidden forums, marketplaces, and leaked databases, stuff never meant for public eyes. Type in a keyword, and it pulls up results from a world designed to be unfindable. When a company's data is breached and dumped, dark search is how people find it. Its crawlers constantly map new and disappearing .onion sites, keeping up with the ever-changing dark web. For hackers, it's the first stop in reconnaissance, looking for mentions of targets, leaked credentials, or exposed server info. The interface is bare bones, built for pure function. It's the gateway to the rest of the dark web. Without a search engine like this, most information would stay lost in the digital abyss. Dark Search provides the light needed to navigate the darkness. It's the key that unlocks the first door in any dark web investigation. That's why it's number one. Number two is Onion Scan. If Dark Search is the map, Onion Scan is the X ray. It's a free, open source tool for analyzing the security and anonymity of dark web services. Hackers use it to scan. Onion sites for vulnerabilities, exposed IPs, outdated software, open ports. It's like a security audit, but for finding ways in, not fixing them. Onion Scan generates detailed reports, server types, SSH keys, links to other hidden or clear web services. One mistake in setup and Onion Scan will find it, like default pages or images with revealing EXIF data. Law enforcement and researchers use it to de-anonymize criminals by connecting patterns across sites. It can reveal if two marketplaces are run by the same person just by matching technical fingerprints. For anyone trying to stay hidden, Onion Scan is their worst nightmare. Even in the most secure corners, true anonymity is hard to maintain. One slip up, and this tool exposes it. Number three is Amia. Another search engine, but with a twist. Amia filters out abusive content, making it a safer entry point for researchers. It indexes the public-facing side of the dark web, forums, blogs, whistleblowing sites, Investigators use AMIA to search for usernames, emails, or company names in dark web discussions. It's a window into conversations happening in the shadows. AMIA collaborates with the Tor project to improve network safety and provide stats on content types. Search results can reveal hacktivist manifestos, technical exploits, or leaked credentials. For OSINT, it's pure intelligence, tracking threats, motivations, and targets. While dark search finds the hidden, AMIA listens to the public square. It's about hearing what's intentionally kept off the clear web. In intelligence, listening is as important as looking. Number four is Recon Eng, the Swiss army knife for digital reconnaissance. It's a modular command line tool, beloved by penetration testers and hackers. Recon Eng lets you automate intelligence gathering from both the clear and dark web. Start with a company name or username and use modules to find emails, breach data, and more. It automates what would take hours of manual searching. All data is organized in a local database for analysis. Hackers use it to map a target's digital footprint, websites, IPs, employees, leaks. Its real power is extensibility. You can write new modules as new data sources emerge. Recon Eng evolves with the internet, always scraping for fresh intelligence. It's a living toolkit for the modern digital detective. Number five is Maltego, the ultimate data visualizer. It turns scattered info into interactive graphs revealing connections you'd never spot in a spreadsheet. Plug in an email or username, and Maltego finds linked social profiles, websites, and more. Each new piece becomes a node, building a web of relationships. Start with a hacker's username from a dark web forum. Maltego can link it to real-world identities. It shows second, third, and fourth-degree connections, mapping entire networks. Law enforcement uses it to track criminal organizations and disinformation campaigns. The free community edition is powerful enough for most investigations. For OSINT, Maltego is indispensable for turning noise into actionable intelligence. Data is just noise until you find the patterns. Maltego finds those patterns. It's a digital detective's corkboard on steroids.
Number six is Spiderfoot, automation at its finest. It queries over 200 data sources, from public records to dark web forums. Give it a target, domain, IP, email, username, and it builds a dossier while you grab coffee. Spiderfoot finds attack surfaces, domains, IPs, open ports, web tech, and more. It checks if emails or usernames appear in dark web data dumps. Results are organized in a clean web interface, ready for analysis. It's designed for both technical and non-technical users. For deep investigations, Spiderfoot is a game changer. It saves hundreds of hours of manual work. It's like having a team of digital detectives working 24 sevenths. Number seven is Hunchly, the investigator's notebook. It's a browser extension that automatically saves time-stamped, verifiable records of every web page you visit. On the dark web, things disappear fast. Hunchly preserves your evidence. Every page is hashed and time-stamped, creating an incorruptible audit trail. Tag pages with notes and selectors, like usernames or crypto wallets, and Hunchly scans for matches as you browse. It builds a case file, connecting all the dots for you. For law enforcement or corporate investigators, this is essential. Hunchly turns your browsing into forensic evidence. It's more than a page saver, it's your digital memory. Losing evidence isn't an option and Hunchly ensures you never do. It's the force multiplier for any serious investigation. That's why it's number seven. Number eight is Lampire, a data analytics powerhouse for OSINT. It's like Maltego and Spiderfoot combined, with a focus on processing massive data sets. Lampire enriches lists of usernames, emails, or domains from over 100 sources, including the dark web. Its threat intelligence features can link malware, IPs, and hacking groups, feed it a Bitcoin address, and it traces transactions, links wallets, and can help de-anonymize users. It's also great for social media analysis, mapping networks, and profiling targets. Lampire is for when you have too much data to process manually. It turns mountains of raw info into actionable intelligence. It's the engine for deep, large-scale analysis. Number nine isn't a tool, but an entire OS, Tails. Tails is a live operating system that runs from a USB stick, leaving no trace on your computer. It forces all traffic through Tor, anonymizing everything by default. When you shut it down, it's like you were never there. Tails comes with encryption tools, Tor browser, and secure communication apps. Hackers, journalists, and investigators use it for maximum anonymity and security. It's a clean room for sensitive work, analyzing malware, communicating with sources, or launching attacks. Tails is the foundation of operational security. It's the digital cloak of invisibility for navigating the most dangerous parts of the internet. Without Tails, using any of these tools would be risky. Number 10 is Creepy, a geolocation aggregator. It scrapes location data from social media and plots it on a map. Every geotagged photo or check-in becomes a data point. Creepy can build a timeline of someone's movements, where they live, work, and hang out. Hackers and investigators use it to correlate usernames across clear and dark web, linking online personas to real-world locations. It's a stark reminder of how much we leak about our whereabouts. Creepy animates movements, filters by date, and shows just how exposed we are. For OSINT, it bridges digital and physical worlds. It's often the final piece, linking an online identity to a real person. In the digital age, there are few places left to hide. There you have it, 10 powerful OSINT tools from the digital underground. From searching the unsearchable to preserving evidence and mapping real-world locations, these tools are game changers. Understanding them is the first step to protecting yourself. This is for education, stay safe and ethical online. Be mindful of your digital footprint. These tools are designed to track it. If you want more deep dives, subscribe for more secrets from the digital underground. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.